Hey everyone. You know, the other day I was reading a comment someone left on a video that stated that the arguments used against abortion and against people's reproductive rights are the exact same arguments that are being used against trans people existing. At first, I wasn't sure what they meant, but then it harkened me back to a video I made right around the time Roe vs. Wade was overturned as it pertained to the declining white population in the United States and other countries. So that commenter was basically stating that both of those arguments are forced birther arguments. I thought, hmm, this is a bit of a reach. But wouldn't you know it, leave it to the state of Texas to prove that comment you're right. State Representative Brian Slayton out of Greenville, a Republican of course, just filed for House Bill 2889. And what is House Bill 2889 you might say? Well basically that's the have more white babies bill. At least that's what I'm calling it. With a 30 plus billion dollar property tax surplus, the Republicans could be using it to fix all the dilapidated, disgusting, broken down schools in neighborhoods filled with people of culture and people of color, but instead they want to dole out tax subsidies to people to pop out more kids. In this case, well, white kids. So yeah, I can see the correlation now. It's never been about protecting the unborn or protecting children or the sanctity of marriage or any of that nonsense. It's always been about forced birthers trying to make sure that more white people have more white babies so they continue to be the majority in this country. Go figure. If you want to read more about the disgusting hypocrisy of this bill and other bills the Republicans in Texas have filed, check out my website. It's linked in my bio. Have a day.